Hi everyone and welcome to the Greater Vancouver Zoo video presentation. My name is Rita and I am part of the animal care staff here at the zoo. The animal care staff are responsible for ensuring the health and well-being of the animals under their, their care. This includes preparing optimal diets, cleaning and maintaining enclosures, providing daily enrichment and also conducting health checks. So today I'm going to do some behavioral training with our Indian Crested Porcupines. So behavioral training plays an important role within animal care. Not only does it stimulate the brain increasing their mental health, it plays a valuable role in determining their physical health as well. So sometimes it is a challenge to see certain areas of the animals that we wish to see and for other species we cannot touch or enter their enclosures. So behavioral training helps us keepers by getting them to participate in their own health care. It also decreases stress if they do need to have a veterinarian visit because they're used to performing these behaviors. So now I'm going to go let out the Indian Crested Porcupines and do a training session with them. Introducing Philly and Padma, our Indian Crested Porcupines. They are brother and sister born at the Bronx Zoo. They are 16 years old and joined the Greater Vancouver Zoo family eight years ago. You can tell them apart by their coloring. Philly the male that is enjoying his diet, which consists of fruit, vegetable and leaf eater biscuits, has a slightly darker quill and is a little smaller than his sister Padma, who is doing the training session. So first you'll see that I'm trying to get Padma onto the sheet of metal. We want her to get all four feet on the sheet of metal and this is something called station training. Should we ever need to complete a health check on her or monitor her weight by placing a scale under it. As I'm moving Padma around, I'm actually noticing if she's putting weight on all four legs and no limps are present. A training tool called a target is being used that is a bright red ball and easily recognizable visual tool. Targets allow us to move an animal to a desired location or through an activity. And when the animal touches the target, they know they've completed their requested action and will be re rewarded with a treat. The food given out during these training sessions is the high value portions of their daily diet. For her, it is the fruit. Also demonstrating during this presentation is crate training. Sometimes we must move an animal around to other enclosures or for vet visits. This can be a stressful event. So having them trained to go into a crate in advance will greatly decrease the stress for both animal and handle. You'll notice I'm slowly moving her into the half kennel, working up to get all four feet inside. If I'm happy with her progress along the way, she'll be rewarded with a treat. Usually Padma performs these trainings on her own, but it is good practice to add in different stimulus like the video camera and her brother to see how well she can stay focused. The environments should not always be controlled. She did fantastic on her training. Everyone, let's give her a round of applause. Wonderful job, Padma, and since she did excellent, she will get the rest of her diet along with a prize. And in this case, it is a yummy date. Hopefully see you soon at the Greater Vancouver Zoo and keep a lookout for keepers performing their daily training sessions.